Greetings everyone and welcome to Batasera Nation, the number one fan site and channel for Batasarans. Today I want to provide some recent updates and news for everyone. Indeed we've got news about Batasera running on the Steam Deck as well as a new Linux based SEMU that has been introduced with the Beta 36 version of Batasera. This new version of SEMU is not only faster than the old Wine version but it also has new features including the fact you can now finally play Mario Kart 8 with four players. That's right, how awesome is that? And finally, Bata Center 36 will also introduce a brand new emulator, one that many have been asking for. Which one? You ready to find out more? Well, let's do it. Let's first start out with Steam Deck news. The audio issue has finally been fixed. That means that the audio of the Steam Deck powered by Batuzeta is finally loud enough to where it should be. Developer Nicholas has done a tremendous job at finding the solution. In addition, Nicholas has also fixed the main bug. That means you can finally play main games on your Steam Deck when powered by Batuzeta. Consequently, if you need any help in configuring main on your Steam Deck, I would highly encourage you to watch my video tutorial on MAME. In fact, I will be providing a link in my video description, so look for it if you need any help. A number of other fixes have been introduced on the Steam Deck, including the fact that Cody is now finally responding correctly with the Steam Deck's built-in gamepad. Nicholas is also continuing to fix other bugs, as well as adding new features and requests. So stay tuned and keep updating your Steam Deck to the latest version of Autoceta. In fact, let me go ahead and now show you how to update your Steam Deck to the latest version of Batocera. Okay, so we're in our Steam Deck. Go ahead and press Start on your gamepad. And from there, go into Updates and Downloads. And from there, make sure this is set to Beta. And from there, go ahead and Start Update. And then if you find an update, it will tell you and then just go ahead and select it for it to update and let it download. And that's it. And I think it's safe to say that it's okay to continue to update every beta that you see because it's only going to add more features to the Steam Deck. So go ahead and do it. All right, that's it. Now let's talk about the new Linux version of Semu for Batocera 36. Developer Daniel Martin has been busy porting the Linux version of Semu for Batocera. If you weren't aware, the old SEMU version ran on Wine, which meant we were using the Windows version of SEMU in Batocera, but it had to be translated with Wine for Linux. That meant that SEMU took a performance hit when it ran in Batocera. With the Beta 36 version of Batocera, that is no longer the case. We finally have the Linux version of SEMU for Batocera. That means that depending upon your GPU, you can see anywhere between 5, 7, 10% or more performance increase when running SEMU in Batocera. For example, in the Steam Deck, SEMU is running as smooth as butter. And in fact, the game footage that you see in the screen right now is SEMU Linux on the Steam Deck. Prior to this upgrade, SEMU ran really well, but not as smooth and as speedy as it does now. In fact, I've tested about 10 games and they were all running at 60 frames per second or at their maximum frames per second output on SEMU's default settings. I didn't have to change a single thing. The only exception that I encountered is Breath of the Wild. Prior to this Linux update, I was able to run at about 30 frames per second and nothing more. But now, I can run it smoothly at 45 frames per second using Samus graphics packs for the game. It's not 60 frames per second, but sure feels close enough. Something that was not possible with the Wine version of Samu. So kudos to developer Daniel Martin for porting the Linux version of SEMU for Batocera. In fact, let me go ahead and show you the new advanced game options for SEMU in Batocera. Alright, so when Batocera, go ahead and press select on your gamepad and go into advanced system options. You can see here a bunch of new options have been added uh, to the emulator. Okay, so let's go to the top. Uh, video mode, of course, depending upon your monetary TV. That's what you choose. 
decorations, leave it at auto or none. Really can't use that. Graphics API, it's set to Vulkan for default. Go ahead and leave it at Vulkan. Unless you know a particular game that runs better than OpenGL, all right? Rumble, and you have different options here, okay? Office default. Control combination, I've got it set to Wii U Classic Controller, but you can also pick different ones as well, all right? Auto channels, you also have this, sterile surround. V-Sync, I got an auto, uh, off. And indeed, you know what? I've not seen much screen tearing at all on the new Linux version of SAMU. Aspect ratio, just go ahead and leave it at auto. Enable mouse, that's up to you. In case you want to use a mouse for if you want to use a touch screen. Enable gamepad view is also for touch screen. Uh, if you know of a particular game that does have touch screen, you can go ahead and enable it, all right? And then we also have uh, Shader Compile for Vulkan. Go ahead and leave it on auto because if, by default it's already on. Console language, of course, you can pick different languages there. Audio output. If this one does not work for any reason, go ahead and set in a config and applications and then choose this one, all right? Upscale filter. You have different options there as well. You also can downscale, depending upon the fact that your computer is a little weak, you can also downscale, okay? Enable performance overlay, that will allow you to see how well Semi performs on your computer, okay? By default, it's set to disabled, all right? Enable notification is set to disabled by default. You can also enable it if you want to, all right? And that's it. Now then, there's going to be a new file extension going to be used in the Linux version of Semu. And that is WUA. Uh, and indeed, if you have some WUX, you're going to have to convert them uh, to WUA. In fact, let me go ahead and show you that. Let's go back to my PC system, and I'll show you how you can convert file folders and WUX to WUA. All right? All right, so we're back on my desktop. And the first thing we need to do is to go to... Semu's website, I will be providing a link. If you have not done so, go ahead and download the version 2.0 experimental version, okay? Go ahead and click there. And that will take you to this page. Go ahead, click on that. And that will take you to this page. And from there, look for your version you want. In my case, it's Windows, and go ahead and download that, okay? Once it's been downloaded, go ahead and install it. And once it's been installed, let me go ahead and show you my games folder. Okay, so I have here three games. Of these three games, two of them are game folders, okay? Uh, and one of them, of course, is the WUX. This one has to be converted. These two are optional. Uh, I think it's a good idea to go ahead and convert it to WUA because you will save yourself some space with the compression. Let's go back up here. Let's go into SEMU. Go ahead. I will click on that. Again, here are the games. Go into Tools. Go into Title Manager. Uh, and there you see the game right there. Okay, so again, we're going to start first with Mario Kart 8. Select it, and then right-click on it, and then you'll see the Convert to WUA. All right? Go ahead and do that. If you have any updates or DLC, it automatically will also convert that as well. Okay. Tells you where. I'll go ahead and put it right there in the same spot. Save. And from there, it will convert it. Depending upon the size of the game, some games will take longer than others. I think this one takes about a minute or so for it to convert. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all this. All right, we're, we are done. Press OK. Now let's go ahead and go into this one right here, Tropical Freeze. You can see that we got here two folders, Save and Base. We want to always choose Base. Go ahead and select it, right-click on it, Convert to WUA. Same thing. Okay, it's asking me where, go ahead and put it there, and let's go ahead and convert it. I believe this game takes about four minutes or so for it to convert completely. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward this. Okay, we are done, and let's choose the last one. Right click on it, and convert. Okay, keep the same name, and we're good to go. 
I'll go also we'll go ahead and fast forward this one. All right, so we are done. And we can close this out and close this out. Let's go to the folder. Let's compare. You can see there. WUX over five gigabytes. WA about three gigabytes. Quite a reduction in its compression. So we're better off converting these into WA. And I'll look at the folder here, Donkey Kong Country. This is about 10.8 gigabytes. And the new one is 9.4. So over one gigabyte was reduced in compression. Okay. And the last one, Shantai. And this is 1.54 gigabytes. And the new version is 1.10 gigabyte. Okay. Again, another reduction right there. So again, I think it's a good idea to go ahead and convert these to WA. And it also makes it easier for scraping if you have one single file. Now then, if you are using about the 35, you're going to wait until about the 36 comes out. Then don't do this just yet uh, because otherwise your games won't work. This compression and file extension will only work with about the 36 or the beta version of about the 36. All right. Also, it's a good idea to go ahead and keep the folders. If you convert them, keep them until you test the WA. For example, I have this game right here that I've had converted it when I was trying it out in the beta version of about the 36. Uh, it did not work. Uh, eventually, it was upgraded and then it did work. So, again, go ahead and keep the folder until you can test the game. And once you know it works, then you can go ahead and delete it. Now then, before we proceed, I'm also going to show you something else. Let's go back over here. and Let's go to my website, BaptistDonation.com. And go to the download section. If you're using the beta version of Baptist 36, that's going to break automatically. Switch emulation as well as Xenia emulation. So if you are going to use beta 36, go ahead to the very bottom of the page and download this file right here. Okay. And then you got to copy that file to this location. But again, it's essential you download this. Uh, otherwise, Switch Emulation and Zeni Emulation will not work in the beta version of Bautista 36. If you're going to stick with Bautista 35, don't worry about this until you get to Bautista 36. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and load up Bautista so I can show you where to copy this file. Okay, so we're back in Bautista. Go ahead and press F1 on the keyboard. Go into File Manager. And from there, make sure you take your file. In my case, it's found over here. Okay, make sure you copy that file uh, and take it to share. I'm going to system, going to configs, go to emulation station, uh, and copy right there. Override it as well. Paste it, override it. And that's it. Now, Switch emulation should work well in about to set up beta 36 and above, all right? And for those of you who are using the Steam Deck, uh, it turns out, unfortunately, the controls are not yet working for the user emulator. Uh, the developer is still working on it. He's been really busy with his personal work. Uh, and he hasn't had much time, but as soon as he gets it up and running, I uh, will let you guys know. But the way around that is, of course, you can use the other emulator, all right? You can use uh, this one right here. And in fact, I was quite surprised to see how well it's running now compared to when I last saw it last year. So again, you might want to give this emulator a chance uh, in terms of your games because the controls are working well uh, on the Steam Deck. And of course, if you want to use a Bluetooth controller, because that also works well with the user emulator, okay? All right. And now, let's talk about PS Vita. Besides porting the Linux version of Semu, developer Martin is also porting the Linux version of Vita 3K for Bautista 36. A number of you have been asking for PS Vita emulation for Bautista. Well, the good news is that it's coming for Bautista 36. You can even test it out in the beta version of Bautista 36. The bad news, however, is that the Linux port is not as advanced or far along as the Windows version. Indeed, I've tested about 20 compatible PS Vita games that work well in the Windows version of Vita 3K. But unfortunately, I only got about seven of them working well with the Linux version. Some games, however, are playing extremely well. Realistically speaking, it's a start, and the developers are working hard making sure that more games will be compatible and soon enough. 
In fact, since I first started testing out Vita 3K last week, three new games suddenly became compatible this week due to a major software update. That was very encouraging. Therefore, I'm expecting that more PS Vita games will be up and running in the Vita 3K emulator by the time the Bata 36 is finalized. In either case, I want to thank developer Martin for helping me out with the Vita 3K emulator when I had some configuration questions, as well as providing me with some beta versions of Vita 3K emulator. He's been very helpful and patient with my many questions, and I appreciate that. So thanks a lot, Daniel. Finally, if there's the big demand for the comment section, I will be posting a Vita 3K tutorial next time I'm about to set a nation. So go ahead and post your comments and let me know if you want this tutorial. Well, that's a wrap for this update. Again, I want to thank developers Nicholas, Daniel, and the rest of Bautista team for continuing to improve Bautista and making it as great as it is. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. That would really help me out with YouTube's algorithms. If this is your first time watching a video from Bautista Nation, then I highly encourage you to check out YouTube channel, as well as a website at BautistaNation.com. That will give you a great overview of what Bautista is all about and whether this will meet your MLA needs. Finally, I want you to know I've got a lot more videos coming out, so therefore please consider subscribing so you'll stay on top of the latest and greatest of to say. As a matter of fact, I will do either a new advanced setting tutorial or a Vita 3K tutorial next time about the celebration. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time about the celebration. Bye.